Hey, what's up guys? So, do you see that plane over there? I'm gonna try and hit that with this football, so let's try. Oh my god, I actually hit it! I'm in so much trouble right now, oh my god! Oof. Yeah, today it's so hot and I'm sitting inside to make this video for you guys, so please give me some credit. Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Inezalea and today it's Filmmaking Friday. We're going to see how to hit an airplane with a football right after this. Alright, so with the Champions League being so popular, why not make a video about football, like everybody else? So in today's video, I thought I'll show you how to make a nice trick shot inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. As usual, we're gonna take it a step further and we're actually gonna hit an airplane. Oh my! So let's get started. Here I have my sequence, I'll import my footage. We want the shot where we actually kick a ball in the air, just like this. Let's try. Oh my god, I actually hit it! I'm in so much trouble right now, oh my god! Of course it will land somewhere in the area for me being in the water. Typical and then in that shot you want a clean plate where you don't see anything except the environment uh, So not even yourself in the shot We're going to duplicate our original video and select the clean plate time frame right click on the layer and add a frame hold You know what is the worst if you're sitting inside and it's already being very hot and then you illuminate all these lights If you have never filmed with lights, let me tell you they make everything 10 times as hot, no matter what kind of light, even if it's LED, it's terrible. And I kind of have pretty good lights against heating, but still it's, it's just too much, I can't do this. Now we want to mask around the part where the ball actually hits the water and key that out. Make this layer as long as it needs to be to cover the falling action and as the ball is in the water and almost unnoticeable, I will actually just end the clip as well. Even though you can see the ball in the corner afterwards, I do this because otherwise I'll need to do a lot of rotoscoping on myself and I don't think it's worth the time waste. Okay, so now we have our shot without a falling ball, but our ball disappears midair. It's kind of strange. Maybe an alien abduction while the Champions League were going on would also be a great video, but... What the hell guys, I don't know what I'm seeing here, but it's just insane, just look at it. This is freaky. Select a good part of the video where you want to continue the ball animation with VFX. For me, I like this area. Now again, duplicate the layer by alt dragging the clip on a new layer. Here again, I want to add a frame hold for the ball so we have a still ball in mid air. Go to the motion effect controls and under opacity you can create an oval mask. Try to mask the ball as good as possible and continue the animation with a simple position and scale animation. Scale to represent the depth so the ball actually moves away from the camera. Try to look at the beginning animation and use it as a reference. As the ball will travel a very long distance to the plane, it should also go a little bit faster. So when I kick the ball until the fake VFX ball animation, 
I'll cut that clip and speed it up by 200%. So it's double as fast. This will emphasize the speed of the ball and make it blend together a little bit better. So now we have a nice and smooth ball animation. All that is missing is our plane. I wanted to do my ball animation first so we can create a smooth animation upwards and calculate our plane's position according to the ball's position. Import a PNG plane image and scale it up to your preference. Now animate the plane from the right to the left. If you want an in-depth plane animation in Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, you can click on the cards right here. Actually mean right here. I actually have a great tutorial on fake animations in Adobe Premiere Pro. Try to animate the plane so that when the ball reaches its position, the plane is as close to that position. It doesn't need to be perfect as the ball will be too small to see and the plane actually moves while the ball is also moving. So you kind of have to calculate some math so you actually look smart and end up with a good animation. Before we continue this video, I would like to present you our website designed for filmmakers and video editors to improve their workflow. We offer templates, presets, high quality pre-made packs, soundscapes, essential graphics and much more. If you don't have time to create something of your own or you just want to speed up your workflow, definitely check out our website with the link in the description below. Once you have animated that, you have your entire animation almost done. All I need to do to improve this effect is add a plane sound effect in the background so it feels like an actual plane is flying over. I also added a far explosion sound effect like one of the engines get hit by the ball. And I also added a fireworks whistle sound effect to the ball kick so it seems like it's a very, very hard kick. I also notice the shadow of the ball while it's falling in this tree. I'll actually create a new layer with an add frame hold and mask out the shadow. Here we want to animate the mask path because it's very close to myself and otherwise you would cut off my body so that's not what we want so simply animate everything that you need to cover up that shadow. Make sure you trim the video only for the length of the shadow so it doesn't need to be any longer and you don't need to do any extra work. Next we want to make sure that the plane actually flies behind us. To do this I duplicated my original footage and disabled all the other layers so I can concentrate on this only layer. Then I will use the ultra key effect to key out the sky. The sky is completely blue so this we can use as a reference color. Play around with the settings until it's completely keyed out. Next we want to make a simple mask around the area that the plane is covering and then it should be fixed. Lastly, I added some smoke to the plane's engine. For this, I used a smoke plume stock footage from Action VFX, which is actually a great website for high-end Hollywood stock footage. They offer a lot of effects, especially for explosions. They are really good and they offer a really affordable price. Recently, they actually cut their prices in half. So I'll put a link in the description below so you can go and check them out. I also think they have a free smoke plume, so you can use that for this video, for example. I also think they have free smoke plumes you can use to try it out. All right, and that brings us here. Hey, what's up guys? So, do you see that plane over there? I'm gonna try and hit that with this football. So, let's try. Oh my God, I actually hit it. I'm in so much trouble right now, oh my god! A nice plane hit with a football, that's pretty awesome. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did give this video a like, also be sure to subscribe to the channel for more and definitely hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Apart from that, I would definitely encourage you to check out our website, we have a bunch to offer for filmmakers and motion graphics artists and if you buy something, you really help to support the channel. So that would be equally as awesome. Alright, hope to see you in the next one, goodbye.